Hello, my name is Alan Bagnall. I'm an interventional cardiologist and today I'm going to show you how to catheterize the right coronary artery from the right radial artery. To start with, we've got our 035 guide wire sat inside the radial artery sheath. As we advance the guide wire, we should have a mental picture in our minds of where the wire should be heading. So, if we see it deviating from that pathway, or if we meet any physical resistance, then we know that we need to redirect the wire. In this case, you can see that the wire is moving smoothly up the artery. I'm then going to advance my guide catheter. In this case, I've got a Judkins Wright 4 guide catheter up at the arm. The view here looks a little strange because we've got the camera preset into a, an LAO view. But that will help us as we come round into the subclavian artery, past the head and neck vessels, because this will allow us to see whether we're going into the ascending or the descending aorta. We've got a little bit of resistance with our wire there, so I'm just going to come back with the wire, try and redirect. That's heading towards the head and neck vessels. So again, we bring the wire back, we back a little bit further, and redirect our wire. Quite a tortuous subclavian here by the looks of things. And now you can see the wire heading down into the ascending aorta on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm bringing down my guide catheter now whilst keeping the wire fixed. And that's the job of the 035 guide wire completed. So I'm just going to leave that at the top here. In reality, this is where we will remove the guide wire altogether, connect up our giving device, ensuring that there are no bubbles in the system, and then looking to take some scouting shots. Remember, before taking any shots at all, you should always check that the arterial pressure tracing is a normal one and not damped in any way. If it's damped, it may indicate that the tip of the catheter is up against the wall of the artery, or particularly on the right coronary artery, that it's into the small conus branch. So we're just going to gently talk our catheter around towards the left-hand side of the screen towards the right coronary ostium. We're looking to see a characteristic jump. Just take a small test shot here after looking at my pressure tracing. You can see we're not quite in the ostium yet. We're just going to have to try a few little other manipulations to see whether we can get the catheter to sit just in the ostium as we want. So it looks like we're sat below the ostium at the moment. I'm just withdrawing slightly and re-talking the catheter around. And we saw a little jump there. We might be just above. Yeah, we're quite a bit above where we need to be there. Again, just checking the pressure tracing each time before making an injection. And we saw the catheter jump forward there just as it went into the coronary ostium. So I'm just going to slightly readjust my catheter position here, just so it's not too deeply engaged in the right coronary artery. That's much better. And now we can take our angiogram, come onto the cine pedal, we inject, and that's a coronary angiogram of the right coronary artery.